Okay, so can I have it resume? All right. So, what's your full name? Kumar Vini Sai Krishna. All right. Okay. So, Sai Krishna, so this position which we are going to have, it is for the Java developer uh, position. So, how comfortable are you with Java technology? Yes, sir. So, like uh, out of 10, how much do you want to rate yourself? I can give myself an answer, yes, sir. 8. Okay, very good. That's a very good confidence. Apart from Java technology, what other technologies do you know? Um, some basic sub HTML and HTML, CSS, JavaScript, sir. Alright, okay. So, why you chose for the Java developer position? So, we are going to have only for Java developer. So, are you interested for Java developer or you can you want to go as a UI developer also? No, sir, I am comfortable with Java. Java is comfortable. But why did you choose Java? <coughs> Nowadays, Java has a huge demand in the market. Uh, if I work, work I, if now I work with Java, in future I will get better package. Better package, okay. So full demand is there for Java. That's what you're trying to say. Yes. All right, that's good. <coughs> okay. Okay. So let us discuss few questions on Java related. Okay. <coughs> So can you tell me what is meant by abstraction? Abstraction is nothing but hiding unnecessary data and showing necessary information. Alright. So what is the difference between abstraction and encapsulation? Uh, abstraction provides code security and encapsulation provides data security. Data security. Alright, good. So how many ways you can achieve abstraction? Two ways, sir. First right. one, abstract. Second one, interface. Okay. Why two ways are required? What is the problem with <coughs> abstract keyword? Yes, sir, uh, if we can, we can we cannot achieve hundred percent abstraction with abstract keyword. If we use interface, we can hundred percent. We, we can achieve hundred percent, sir. Why is it so? What is the problem with abstract? Why we cannot achieve hundred percent? Same thing is there, problem with abstract keyword. Yes, sir, there is multiple intelligence we cannot achieve with classes. Okay, so because of multiple problem. inheritance, we cannot achieve 100% abstraction. So, what is multiple inheritance? Multiple, multiple inheritance is nothing but uh, um, there, uh, we have two parent classes and one child class is called multiple inheritance. Okay. We cannot achieve with classes multiple inheritance, by, we can achieve by interface. Why? Why we cannot achieve by using classes? There is two parent classes. The child child class will get confused. Uh, that situation is called ambiguity. Okay. So can you just draw a diagram on that? Explain me what is that ambiguity situation? Yes. So there is two parent classes and one child class. Mm -hmm. And parent class same method. Mm -hmm. The child class will get confused mm. which data will take in. Okay. This situation is called ambiguity, sir. Alright. Okay. If, if uh, parent class have same name, mm. the child class will get confused, sir. So parent class name or method name? Both, sir. Suppose these two are classes. So, in these classes, if method names are same, then there is a confusion, or if class names are same, there is a confusion? Method names, sir. Method names. So, class names can be anything, right? Yes, sir. So, method names are same, then child class will be in a confusion. Yes, sir. To implement which parent class method. Yes, sir. Okay, so this is ambiguity. Yes, sir. So, then how to uh, overcome this problem? What is the solution in Java? By using interface, sir. Alright, so can have the diagram, same for interfaces? Yes, sir. Sir, interface 1, okay. interface 2, class 1. Mm -hmm. Class 1 implements mm -hmm. 192, sir. So, can one class implement two interfaces? Yes, sir. Number of. Alright, very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. Then, in class, what will happen? So, the data will be taken from mm -hmm. these interfaces. Okay. Alright. 
So what is an interface means? Interface is similar type of cluster. Uh, it contains methods and variables. It contains methods. What type of methods interface will have? Methods. <coughs> So variable starting and starting and final methods and abstract keyword. Abstract methods. Sorry, no. yes, Abstract methods will be there in an interface. Yes, sir. Okay. And variables? Variable static and final. Sir. Static and final variables will be there in interface. Alright. Okay, so 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 can you tell the difference between abstract class and interface? <coughs> uh, abstract class does not have any body. Abstract class will not have body? What is an abstract class means? A class which is declared with abstract keyword is called an abstract class. So which class we declare as abstract keyword? Which class we have to use abstract keyword? Abstract keyword. For which class we will put abstract keyword? Any class, sir. Any class? One class. No. So if a class is having some abstract methods, yes. then generally we have to give abstract keyword, right? Yes, yes, yes. Alright. So what is an abstract method means? A method which declared with abstract uh, <coughs> and does not implement. Does not implement. So meaning there is no body for that? Yes. Okay, that method is an abstract method. Yes. Abstract method that does not have any body. Does not have any body. All right. Can we create an object for interface? No, sir. Okay. So can we create an object for abstract class? No, sir. Okay. All right. Okay. So. <clears throat> okay. So can one interface uh, extend other interface? Yes sir. So can you put inheritance concept for interfaces also? Extend, yes sir. Can we put? Yes sir. So inheritance we can put for classes and for interfaces also? Yes sir. Alright. Okay, good. Okay, very good uh, Sai Krishna. Okay, so, <coughs> so I just want to give feedback to you. Yes, so this kind of mock interviews we generally do at uh, SP Global Solution. So when we give mock interview, so like uh, we will tell to the students that uh, uh, in which area he has to improve. So feedback will be given on three criteria. So one on uh, theory part, how you are answering the, the definitions, all those things. Second one on programming side, on coding. Okay. Then third one is how you are answering the question. Are you answering with good, good confidence or not? So the communication also will be checked. Okay. So for you feedback I can give so on three criteria so that is on theory part then on uh, coding little bit and also on communication skills okay so coding syntax whatever you wrote is correct very good keep it up okay so communication also so little bit you have to still improve but you are doing well so just uh, attend more communication classes more okay so that will give a little bit uh, more confidence for you. And coming to theory part, so you told few points almost correct only. So one or two questions uh, you did not answer related to that. Okay, but otherwise uh, uh, all other questions or uh, whatever you have answered is correct. Okay. So still what you can do is you attend more communication classes. So we can attend more classes, communication classes. If you increase your confidence, so confidence level is little bit uh, more is required. For you. Okay, alright, very good, all the best, thank you. Thank you sir, thank you for giving this opportunity. No problem.